Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to the surface of Mars. I've received several photos here recently from various people that don't know each other that happen to notice the same thing in one of the photos from the Mars Perseverance. I've got a couple of different photos that show what look like bones or, or vertebrae, and, and that's always been a question for years. Was there ever life on Mars? Is there still life on Mars? Well, if these photos are accurate and my interpretations even a little bit close we're looking at possibly bones on the surface of Mars outside corners that's a sign of intelligent design we see what looks like a square there a square up there doesn't necessarily look like a, a random natural surface rock or soil but anyway we're gonna come back and and take a look at those photos here in just a moment I did some work on them I adjusted the lighting color and and different things I didn't modify them in any way just made some adjustments and you're going to see what looks like skeletal remains on the surface of Mars. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, checking out the Schumann Resonance. There's been a spike in the last two or three hours. Not a super strong spike, but the biggest we've seen in a while. And that is not the side effect of high-speed solar wind. So right now, the source of that spike in the Schumann data is unknown. Not Nothing's showing up over here at the Planetary K Index either. Everything, for the most part, is pretty quiet. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano, they too are pretty quiet with the exception of what looks like earthquake activity, once again over here at the east entrance. And then there's an absence of data up here at Hebgen Lake. I think that might be a, a digital artifact of some sort, but no data at Hebgen. Old Faithful, pretty quiet and most of the seismographs are fairly quiet considering it is a super volcano. Today's moon phase is the beginning of the new moon, April 12th, 2020, illumination 0% wanted to show you guys the latest eruptions from the volcano on St. Vincent Island. Here's one from yesterday at zoom.earth, and this eruption occurred yesterday afternoon. You can see another dark plume going up into the sky, and then there was yet another one in the evening right there. Look at that. That was a huge one on April 11th, and you can see it expanded for many hundreds of miles, still traveling off to the east. Now we're going up into April 12th, and you're going to see another eruption as we go into the overnight hours. There's a small plume right there right before midnight, and you can see the, the sun has set. The island is now in darkness, and yet another plume at around 1 o'clock in the morning. Pretty good size eruption that was headed towards Barbados. Barbados is 100 miles away from the volcanic eruption. Now we're looking at the satellite imagery from April 12th, and you can see right there yet another plume right before sunrise. Here comes the sun. Sun rises, and there goes the, the dark plume of smoke, this time traveling to the southeast, where the last couple of days the plumes have been traveling to the northeast. And that's the latest update I have from over here at zoom.earth regarding the volcano down in the southern Caribbean still continues to erupt. Now we're going to go back up to the surface of Mars. You can see the elephant in the room here, what looks like a skeleton over here on the far right hand side. These images can be found over here at the Mars Perseverance website that you can find linked below in the description box. There's over 25,000 raw images and I haven't had a chance to go through all of them yet, but I did receive the same image from two different people via email on two different days showing the same unique surface feature on the ground up on planet Mars. So here we go. Here's what I did. These are some of the photos that were shared with me. Chris P. shared this one. Looks like a random landscape photo of, of the surface of Mars, right? Well, we zoom in a little closer and you can see something that doesn't necessarily look random right there inside this little hole. I don't know what that is, if that's the inside of a rock. Zoom in a little closer and you can see what doesn't necessarily look like a rock. That almost looks like a rib cage or at least part of a rib cage. Look at that. I'll let you guys decide. How would you interpret that? That definitely does not look like an ordinary rock. Don't know what that is. That was noticed by Chris P who shared that photo with me from the Mars Perseverance. 
Great observation. Here it is in a different format. And all of these are just simply different formats. Again, I didn't alter the photo. I just adjusted the lighting and color, trying to pull forward whatever those things are that resemble a rib cage, or at least part of a rib cage. This photo here was sent in by JG. Also received this image from Violet out of Miami. And they were scouring the new images coming back from the Mars Perseverance when they noticed this off to the right-hand side of this photograph. And there's always been talk of, was there ever life on Mars? Is there life on Mars? Well, if that photograph is any indication of that, I'd say that question has just been answered. But right now in the center of the photograph, you can see what looks like a 90 degree angle, not only there, but right over here too. That looks like part of a square or a cube or something like that. Just again, doesn't look random. Right there looks like more bones possibly. You can see right there that looks like an obvious skeleton or at least the, the partial remains of a skeleton. Looks to be pretty good size. There's the, the skull arm bone vertebrae here maybe a leg bone or two over here another arm bone here off to the left and all i've done is simply adjust the lighting and color and use different format techniques you can see the outside corner right over here to the far left and then the skeleton over here that that's a very large skull so whatever this creature was it looks like it used to stand vertical would have been very tall if that's any indication of what we're looking at here with regard to the size of these bones and the size of that skull that skull is absolutely huge. Get a load of that, would you? Again, I received these photos from two different people in two different emails. To the best of my knowledge, they don't know each other. Here's another look at the, the skeleton, or, or at least that's what it looks like to me. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Here it is in an inverted format. Light is dark, dark is light. Yet another format here. You can clearly see what looks like bones laying over here on the hillside big skull i mean that skull is absolutely huge so again i just adjusted the lighting the color trying to get a little better look at this very mysterious landscape feature that looks like bones on the surface of mars i've never seen anything quite like this i've never really looked at all of the data that's came back from mars do i find it interesting yeah i find it absolutely fascinating and some of these photos here that you guys have shared with me are incredibly fascinating but that definitely looks like a skeleton of some sort laying on the surface of mars but as always i'll leave that up to you guys to decide that came from the mars perseverance now i've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world first photo here sent in by travis m out of sage california looks like the sun has wings as it's setting getting ready to go below the horizon from sage california josh s out of new zealand fiery orange sky i mean the sky literally looked like it was on fire and these photos are exactly the way i received them unedited by Josh out of New Zealand. Video here sent in by Pat of a very intense electrical storm. I mean, that cloud was loaded with energy. Jack S. out of Hardenville noticed some sort of a strange pink structure in the sky, way up in the sky. Managed to get a good photo of it. Doesn't look like a plane, doesn't look like a helicopter. Matthew T. out of Inglewood, Florida. More fiery orange skies at sunset. I took this photo myself of a big jumbo halo around the sun actually yesterday right out here in Arizona. Photo here sent in by Hennig K out of Texas of a big orange cloud, big thunderhead as storms were, were rolling through the state of Texas. Big orange cloud off in the distance. Looks like a mothership over there just waiting to take off. Went from orange to gold. I received multiple photos from multiple people out of the state of Texas of storms the other day. Here's some hail that Hennig went through. Pretty good size hail, probably three quarter inch. Uh, some of it may have been an inch. You can see it bouncing off of the windshield and the hood of his big rig as he was driving through the state of Texas. Another photo here sent in by Patrick, taken by Pezman out of South Dallas, of some incredible lightning, spectacular, very photogenic thunderstorm that was rolling through South Dallas. Heather out of Granbury, Texas, yet another huge shelf cloud, some sort of a cloud dominating the horizon as storms were rolling through the state of Texas. Another photo here out of Texas by Keith S. This one here is from Kaufman. Sky was kind of a really cool orange with some holes in the clouds. It had some very unique features. 
in those openings. Another photo out of Northeast Texas sent in by Sam. He said he'd never seen mammatus clouds that looked like they were splitting in two. They almost, to me, look like human teeth. Look at that. But he said he'd never seen mammatus clouds and has seen them before, as we all have at uh, various points in time. Those are very unique. It looks like a tooth right there. Super low, very big, and some of them are splitting in two. Great photo by Sam out of Northeast Texas. Keep the photos coming, guys. You're wide awake and on the ball. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.